Good afternoon, good evening. This is Kevin from Personal Tutors. Again, a new week and a wonderful day to start. It's a story, the Browning version, a famous play written by Terence Rattigan, depicts the relation between the students and the teacher. Friends, a relation between a student and teacher is a divine relation, yet at times it brings in conflicts, it brings in misunderstanding, it brings in certain aspects where a student doesn't realize the importance of the age-old teacher who has been withered and hardened by the teachings that he has been carrying on since ages and decades. We consider them to be old puny people, rigid enough to remain engraved in their own mentality and not to understand a young kid. So it's all about Frank and John Toplow. John Toplow being a student of fifth grade science. The story is mentioned in the Victorian era. It's actually a play on which certain amount of movies have also been made. Chapters have been written. It's a naive explanation of relationship between Mr. Crocker Harris, that is Andrew Crocker Harris, the main lead, his wife, another teacher, Mr. Frank Hunter, who's quite famous with kids, and the relationship that I'll explain in the end. It all starts on one fine morning, the perception that Toplo carries about Andrew Crocker Harris is of a teacher being old and vague enough not worth to be studied, enraged with his own implemented rigidity and explanations and funny jokes that no students would understand the humanity inside it yet he would be laughing upon his own jokes. Being a rigid teacher does not every time get you opposed. Students usually get a feeling of scareness out of them and out of that feeling we usually find students reaching out for them in the same plot as the story starts the play starts Toplow is seen to be entering Andrew Harris's house and waiting for him where he out of his fetish childishness steals chocolates tries to eat them up and to his amazement finds Frank Hunter a young smart, talented science teacher already sitting and waiting for Mr. Crocker Harris. Toplow here shares a relationship with Frank as Frank is young, energetic, his logics are easily understood by students, thus tends to open up in front of him. The conversation goes as Toplow starting to hit upon Andrew Cocker Harris giving out his feelings about the rigidity that the teacher has and even ends up mimicking him. Frank on the other hand explains the student that no matter how harsh, how rude or rigid the teacher you may find yet there is a quality that needs to be understood by the students as a mode of a relation between the student and the teacher. The whole conversation gives Toplow a chance to understand that the rigidity isn't in the man himself but in the system and the outcome that he possesses on the rage of teaching his students. Here one funny incident happens while in acting as Mr. Crocker, Toplow finds himself being stared by Millie who incidentally happens to be a young beautiful woman married to Mr. Crocker Harris. Millie has been amused by the thought of a young boy mimicking her husband and incidentally finds herself uncomfortable in her presence. She thus asks 
John Toplow to get some medicines for his husband and the innocent chap thinking it to be a work of his teacher moves out to go ahead and get the medicines. The irony in this play here shows Millie getting close to Frank Hunter, the teacher, thus explaining a relationship between them. The play enacts the meanness of an aged teacher that is an outcome of his rigid nature, dedication towards the notes, the classes, the students, thus making him unliked and even mocked. It, on the contrary, it shows a young, smart, talented teacher, that is Frank, being liked by students and it explains the reason Toplow sharing his feelings with him. A teacher plays an important role, my friends. If he is a person liked by the students, he may reach out to their hearts as well. It is very well mentioned over here that Toplow's mentality was incidentally changed by Frank by letting him know that no matter how the teacher is, his dedication towards the work and the job makes him at times rigid. Ironically, here, the metaphor or the conjunction in the story is that he himself is amusing his relationship with Millie Crocker Harris, who incidentally happens to be the wedded wife of Mr. Andrew Crocker Harris. It is a simple metaphor giving out the relationships and the mindset of students that actually to not see what's beyond a person a teacher but they percept they, they create perceptions about the teachers being rude and harsh on the contrary not checking out what they are going through we'll just go through some question and answers of this play now comment on the attitude shown by Toplow towards Crocker Harris Toplow carried a strange attitude towards Crocker Harris although he does not appreciate the teacher much yet he tells Frank that the funny thing in spite of everything is I do rather like him. I can't help. Here, the mindset of a young student is shown, my friends. He actually says that he hates the person, yet there is a part inside the student who likes that teacher. Now, that's what Andrew Crocker Harris gained all his life. Yet, being a hard and strict teacher, he is somewhere liked by his, by his students due to his teachings. The metaphor here lies in the young boy having a carefree attitude, finding himself while in the adolescence, having a right to speak out what he feels, yet may we call it a fear, may we call it a likeness, may we call it a fetish, but yes, the student likes the teacher. Now, does Frank seem to encourage Toplow's comment on Crocker Harris? Well, Frank does not encourage Toplow's comment. It's just possible that he wanted to hear what the students feel about his co-worker. That's the only thing that we get in this play. It's a mockery of a person dedicated towards his job, yet being exploited by his friend, a co-worker, wife, and even the students going ahead and mocking him around. However, it is cloud, it's clear that Frank is a teacher and he holds a position to rectify the students carrying a notion about the teacher. Thus, supporting his co-worker as well? What do you gather about Crocker Harris from the play? Crocker Harris. 
to be called Andrew Crocker Harris is depicted as a teacher in his late 50s, 60s and early 60s is a strict person who is rigid about his principles, about the teachings and about the students as well. An aged old teacher caring about his students, his subject, his teachings and a bit peculiar about the subjects. He does not go hunky-dory around beating the bush. He knows his job. Yet, being an aged person, he has got a special talent of extracting humor out of nothing that the students really don't understand. He wishes to be a teacher and nothing else. Yet the students look at him vice versa. Now, reading plays is more interesting than studying science. An interesting question, my friends. We at Personal Tutor have been giving out numerous explanations, summaries, briefs for your betterment and your interests yet the best part is explaining a play my friend plays gives a chance to us to open our minds and interpret the plot through our perceptions rather than noting up the signs that is based on pre-studied facts and theories plays let us explore the seed of the bottom that every person in the play shows. It's interesting to know that the great authors, essayists, writers, poets usually end up having a play or two in their literature. We get a chance to observe the thing in person, to reclaim the thoughts at the moment and bring an outcome as a result. Thus, watching a play is different than reading science that is based on pre-calculated, pre-assumed gestures. Based on the text, enact your own version of the play and work in pairs. Friends, this is an activity that we can go ahead and do in the school or in a group. I would leave it at your perception. If you have any questions or any comments about the topic that we have just briefed, you can just comment below and we would certainly call you back. If you want to know something about personal tutors, just click the button about us. And do subscribe for more. Thanking you today for this lovely session on a wonderful morning. It's Kevin Lopez.